Hello everyone. The Sora application has officially came out. It came out yesterday, but I finally got my hands on an invite code and I'll show you exactly how to go ahead and use this particular application. Now, number one, you will need an invite code for this. So if you want, I will go ahead and supply some invite codes for the first people who are able to watch this video. I have four invites. I will go ahead and tap up into here and I will go ahead and share my invite code. So if I just copy this code right here, this code down here is the one that you can use. So it's basically ZBNRSX. So if you want to use that code, go ahead and send it to other people, go ahead and use it. It should work hopefully for everybody. But anyways, the Sora application is pretty easy to use once you go and have an invite code. So use that invite code and go and use it. Now, if you do get an invite code, I would recommend sharing it out to other people as well. So post it online, post it in the comments of this video. So if you're looking for an invite code, look in the comments, sort by latest, and just use the code. And if you use it, please feel free to, you know, leave it down there too. Now, the application itself is pretty easy to understand. Now, when you first enter the application, this is what it's basically going to look like. So it's going to give you like this layout similar to TikTok, but these are all AI generated videos. So at the very top, you have like your for you page, you have the option of sending out a message out like can copy this message sent out to other people. This this like video, you have the ability of like following these people as well. So you can go ahead and jump into their profile right here. You also have a like button, a comment button, a direct message button, and the option of sharing it out, copying a link and following this person. You can also report videos if it seems like it goes against their terms of service. You can also play a video by tapping on play or pause a video by tapping on it this way. Now, if you swipe to the left of this, you'll be able to see, you know, other people's posts as well. So people you follow like this, as well as two different feeds. So it's really interesting. You can kind of get an idea of how it looks like. So it is actually very interesting. You can even, I guess, see the original video and I guess compared to a, like a modified one. So you get two different ways of kind of creating content, which is actually really cool. Now at the very bottom, you have two different tabs too. So you have the home tab, which will take you into this page that basically just shows you your videos. The search tab down here on the bottom, this is actually really cool. So the search tab at the bottom allows you to search for somebody's profile. You can search for you know, like a person or if there's an account you can search for. You can click on the search bar down there to basically get access to it. If you want, you can also go ahead and click on this uh, notification button. We'll skip this plus button for now. The notification button, if somebody's following you or you want to follow somebody else, you can tap right into there and get access to that information. And you can also click on the bottom right, and then you can go ahead and see these, you know, your own account. You can, it's pretty similar to TikTok for the most part. You can see your post, your cameos, liked videos, your follower account. And if you tap on the top right, right up here, it should show you something right now. It shows me nothing, but now it shows me my account settings and all those things. And you can click right into there to get access to those options as well. Now this plus button in the middle is very cool. If you tap on it, this is how you start to create your videos. So what you can do is you can go ahead and start describing the video that you want. So you can describe a new video. So I can go and say a cat, you know, running around, right? So I can go ahead and just kind of start describing a video that I want to go and start making, right? Now what I can do here as well is I can go ahead and upload content to kind of mold this particular video around with. So I can go through and click on this image button right here and I can start bringing in some photos. So let's say I have this photo of whatever this thing is or you know this stuffed animal that I have. I can click onto this photo. I can bring in this photo and submit this photo as part of this, you know, uh, of this prompt and watch what happens. All my prompts, all my videos, everything that I want is going to start generating under my drafts. So once I submit it as of right now for me making this video, it's going to start dra you know, creating my video and it's going to start generating it and putting it under my profile OpenAI, OpenAI account onto this page. So now when I'm ready, I can go and click on the drafts. I can go and submit this up. And then whenever it's ready, I'll be able to view it. So you can see it's almost done. Now the same thing goes for cameos. Now, if we click this plus button again, cameos are basically ways that we can use our face to basically start creating videos with it. So if you want to add a cameo, you can click on this cameo button right there, and it's going to tell you that you can star in any video. This is the big one. So what you can do here is click get started, and it's going to ask you to give access to its front camera. Click on allow, and then you want to click on allow on the microphone, 
and it's going to allow you to basically start recording, you know, the numbers you see on the screen. So you can start talking and you can start just kind of describing what you're seeing on the screen. And then after that, the cameo will then be loaded inside of this model for your account. And you can actually start making videos right within here by using your cameo. Now you can also change the models up here. If you want to change it from Sora 2 to a different way, you can do it this way as well. And whenever that original video is done, you'll be able to see all your videos in this draft panel right here, as well as your cameos and your liked videos as well. So that is how to use your Sora application. It's super easy, super basic. Again, the big thing I'd recommend every single person to do is get an invite and share an invite down below. So if you can use one of those invites I said earlier, please leave your new invites in the description below so other people can view them as well. So that's basically how, you, how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.